Oh. This freaking kid is possessed. Today, we're going to be checking out a video from Life of Luxury called... What the hell is this video called, actually? My son won't stop growing at night. So for this episode, we received an email from a woman named Candace, a 53-year-old mother who believes there is something horribly wrong with her son. Uh -oh. Candace says her son doesn't talk to her anymore, and it seems like he cannot stop growing. <laughs> All right, hold on, Candace. One second there. Imagine if all this time there's literally nothing wrong with her son. Uh, won't talk and he's growing. He's probably becoming a teenager or if he's not a teenager, he's probably like, Mom, we talk a lot, okay? I don't want to talk anymore. She says he's been pulling out his hair and won't let her see his face. She sent us this video for proof. I can't even watch this video yet. I'm a little creeped out. And what is this, dog food? Tommy, I brought you your dinner. Do you want it, sweetie? He was like, I don't want the cat food. No. So tonight we've decided to head out to her house and see what's happening with her son when she's not watching him. Let's go. I really hope he's not doing like some crazy stuff. I really hope that it is her son. Chances are it's not. It's probably definitely a demon. So what do you think's going on with this lady's son? I really don't understand the problem. Okay, so from what she said in the email, her son's been growing super fast for some reason and acting really creepy towards her. I still can't get over the fact that she's like, my son is growing so fast. Like, like he doesn't even talk to me. I just can't get over it. Dude, that doesn't make any sense. How do we know he's not just hitting a growth spurt or something? This guy's smart. How do we not know? I don't think this lady would contact us if he was just having a normal growth spurt. Dude, if this woman's having problems with her son, they should be going to therapy. Let's just get there and see what we're dealing with, okay? The guy with the glasses, I think he's probably supposed to be like a laid-back character, but right now he's giving me the smarts. The brain. It's a long, creepy drive. Are you sure he's not possessed with the glasses? Your Wait, right here, right here. Right. This is it, bro. Okay, hold on. Something seems really wrong here, dude. The windows are all dark. Dude, I don't know if I want to meet these people. You know what? I don't want to meet these people. It's already creepy. We're not off to a good start. Normal people have all their bedroom lights on, every single light on all the time, no matter what. There's definitely something going on here. There's no lights on. Well, at the very least, let's just go in and meet Candace and try to talk to her son. Okay. okay. That was that the mission, was mission after, after all. All right, let's uh, knock on her door. I wonder what time it is. Hi, Candace, right? Hi, uh, you emailed us about your son. We told you we were coming tonight. Okay. Is this woman on crack? Is she like bugged out? She's like, okay. Like, is she scared? scared? Is she scared? Uh, we can come in, right? Okay. Okay. He's like, can we come in? You emailed us. And she's okay. like, okay. and he's like, okay. and I'm like, Candace, is your son home right now? Uh, okay, uh, let's just sit down and talk with you, okay? Um, you sure you want to sit down and talk? You want to run? Did you see how she turned around? She was like, He's resting. I'm terrified. I would leave. I would leave. Okay, Candace, thank you for uh, letting us sit down with you. Uh, can you give us more details about what's going on with your son? Can you give me more details as to what's going on in this room? Why is there plastic wrap? Was she planning to murder her son? My son, it's my fault. I should have done something sooner. Did you see the look in his face? He was very concerned. To me, that just sounded like she already killed her son and that's why the plastic was there. Oh boy. Uh, so you told us in the email you sent us that, you know, he's been acting really strange. Can you go into that more? He's, he's still my boy. He just doesn't talk to me anymore. All right, we definitely figured out what's going on here. Maybe she just emailed them because she's like, he doesn't talk to me anymore. When did all this start happening? Tommy ran into the woods. He was gone for about three days. I almost called the police. Tommy was gone for three days and you were about to call the police? Ma'am, that's past 48 hours. I can't even. Is she crazy? But eventually one night, he came back into his room through his window. The window? Why didn't he come through the front door? The window? Something's definitely going on. I don't know. Did you hear that? Why didn't he come through the front door? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He says he just completely shut down. And now he wears this strange mask. It's just like he's not my Tommy anymore. Lady, he's definitely not your Tommy anymore. Came through the back door. Yeah, I don't know. He wears a mask. He's pulling out his hair. He's growing at the speed of light. I'm very concerned. It's physical too. What do you mean by that? It's as though his bones, they don't fit into his skin anymore. 
Exactly. Look, did you see his face? That was disgusting. I literally got the visual of somebody's bones popping through their skin. I love my son. He's my whole world, but this isn't my time. You think? Is it okay if Chester and I uh, go talk to Tommy now? Yeah, but he's been pulling on his hair lately. Okay, that's fine. He's like, that's fine. We're totally here because Tommy's going to look beautiful. Just don't say anything. I think he's self-conscious of it. Is you blind? I can't. Candace, that is not your son. He's a freaking demon. A demon. Okay, where's uh, his room? Yeah, it's upstairs on the left. Okay, all right. Do not go upstairs to the left. Don't do it. Are you ready? Tower five. Yeah. Tommy? Uh, I'm gonna open the door. Don't open it. Don't open it. Hi. Tommy? Uh, my name is Ooh. Parker. I'm friends with your mom. Do not crack that neck again. Oh, oh, I'm definitely gonna have. Oh, that's disgusting. Are you feeling all right? Your mom's uh, been worried about the way you've been acting. I'm gonna pause this right now. I'm terrified. The neck cracking, the little penny pocket. I'm terrified. Do you think you could turn around so we could talk face to face? No. Yeah. Oh my god. We should go. We gotta go now. You should go. And look at Parker. Hold on, hold on. What are you holding on for? This freaking kid is possessed. Okay, Tommy. Uh, if you want to talk more, Chester and I will be here all night. Why would you tell him that so he could kill you? Oh, he's getting up. Close the door. Lock it. Dude, I gotta talk to you. Yeah, Chester, go talk to Parker because um, he needs to get his ass out of there. Dude, did you see his face? What was that? I, I don't know. I think that's his mask. Why is he wearing a mask? I have no idea. It, it could be some sort of grieving thing after his dad passed. It's definitely not a grieving thing. He's possessed. He's hiding his face. His teeth and his eyes were bulging out of his head. This kid is not grieving. He's not even a kid anymore. Tommy is done. Finito. Finito. How could that be a grieving thing? Dude, I don't know. I mean, we came here to set up cameras. So why don't we just start setting them up? Dude, I'm afraid to see what this guy even does at night. Yeah, I'm terrified Ooh. as well. I don't understand why you want to set up cameras. You already saw him. I don't need to see it again. Okay, so Tommy just went to the bathroom. Let's go put a camera in his room. That's the part that's kind of throwing me off because I'm like, okay, if Tommy was truly possessed, I don't think he would care where he peed or pooped. So I don't know now. Now I'm a little concerned. Maybe Tommy's not possessed. Maybe, maybe it's not even Tommy after all. Oh, dude, it smells so bad in here. I could imagine. Hey, what's this? Dude, there's like some sort of like... Ew. Meat or something here. Don't touch that disgusting meat. What does that... That looks like escargot. Dude, don't, don't mess with that. Oh, that's disgusting. Dude just moved. Huh? The meat just moved, bro. The meat just moved. Huh? The meat just moved. Bro. I can't. Hi, uh, Candace, can we put a camera in your room? Parker's like, wanted us to help you with your son, and you're giving us this death stare from hell. Okay, Candace, so uh, we set up cameras all over your house, and we put one in Tommy's room, too? I'm not sure he's gonna like that. Um, well, he doesn't know that we put one in there. At least, I hope not. I would just get out. I would put the cameras in. I would watch it from my car. Or how about you just drive the hell home? How far did you drive? We don't know. Go home. I just want my old back. Poor thing. Chester and I are going to be sleeping in your guest room tonight. <laughs> okay. Okay. You ready? Let's go to sleep. Okay. How could you go to sleep after a time like that? Candace is breaking down in tears. She doesn't want anything to do with the current situation. And um, I feel horrible. I feel terrible. And I feel bad. Bro, when we were talking to Tommy, I got a really bad feeling. Bro, I don't feel safe sleeping here. Why are you sleeping there? Yeah, and neither does Candace, and that's her own son. He's like, I know you don't feel comfortable sleeping here, Chester, but guess what? Neither does his mom. Dude, let's just go to sleep, okay? We'll watch your footage in the morning. Don't even go to bed. What is the point? I hope you lock the doors, because I'm terrified for you. What the hell is he doing? Is he taking a sh Oh no. Oh no, no, no. He's growing. Oh boy. It's like, what is everybody doing? Oh, Candace sleeping, Parker Chester sleeping, and Tommy just growing. Just growing out of his skin and bones. His heartbeat is giving me a heart attack, literally. Oh. Ew. Ew. He's eating the meat. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Do not do it. Stay your ass over there. I have goosebumps. Why wouldn't they lock the door from the outside, first of all? I had a lock.
Do you hear that breathing? One second. I think Tommy needs his asthma pump. Oh. Uh oh, what the hell is he doing? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. And they're still sleeping. What the hell? Oh, okay. And look at the time. 3.07, 37 a.m. See, this is why you never should be up at 3 o'clock. And if you're up at 3 o'clock, go to bed by 4. Don't go to bed at 3. Oh. Oh, don't look at me. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Dude, did you hear anything last night? No, I slept like a baby. Why? He's like, no, I slept like a baby. Why? Why? Candace was just getting her freaking soul snatched out of her body by a tongue, whatever the hell that was, by her son, Tommy. Keep being nice, Candace, by the way. Keep being nice. And this is what happens. You see? I don't even know if she's dead, by the way. I don't know. Candace, it's time to wake up. I'm coming in. Uh, hello? Uh -oh. Candace. What the hell is that? Are, are you okay? What? Tommy? No, it's Chester. Why would you want Tommy to even be around at a time like this? This is not a time when you go, Tommy, Tommy. You want to be like, I hope that's not Tommy. Uh, we need to get up. It's, it's morning. Oh. oh my God. My legs, Tommy. Parker! Oh, Parker. she could not get up. What's what is going on? Dude. Candace, what, what's wrong? Her legs aren't working. Candace. Candace. That means she's probably paralyzed. What did he do? Did he break her back or something? Are you okay? I don't know. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, I don't know. I'm fine. I, I just fell off my bed. I can't get up. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Bro, what's wrong with her? A lot. A lot is wrong right now. Okay, so let's look at this footage from last night. Okay, so it looks like Tommy wasn't sleeping much at all. You think? He's very active at night. She's like, I already know this kid. He's very active at night. I can see that. Oh my god. He's going into my room. <laughs> oh my god. What's he doing to you? I don't know. I'm sorry. It is creepy, but it's also a little bit funny. What's wrong with my son? Is that why you can't walk? That's your spine. That's why you can't walk. He stole your damn spinal fluid. Candace, look what he did to you. This isn't normal. We need to call the police. No, no, no. But Candace. But they won't understand Tommy. Okay, well, if you don't want to call the police, Chester and I need to go talk to him right now. No, he rests at this time. Everything's a problem. Oh, let's go talk to Tommy. No. no. Call the police. No. no. I'm like, all right, so do you really want the help or you freaking don't? Why doesn't she want to call the police? Dude, I don't know. That was horrifying. That's what I said. I don't understand why she doesn't want to call the police. I really don't get it. Like, what are you, what are you hiding? We gotta get out of here. Chester's right. Why do you want to stay? Like, I, I don't get what the hell. I would leave. I would leave. Well, now it's more clear than ever that this lady needs our help. We definitely need to stay here one more night. You do not need to stay there one more night. Even Chester's like, bro, come on. Oh, come on. We're staying. We don't have a choice. You do have a choice. There's cars. You could go. Okay, Candace. So, uh, we saw some pretty awful things last night. I really just don't want him to come in here again tonight. I mean, I don't know what to do here. Are you sure we can't just call the police? No, no. They won't understand them. There we go again. Offering help and she will not take it. No, no. I mean, at least she's loyal. She's very loyal to her son. Even if it's not her son and it's a demon. How about we put this chair here against your door handle in case he tries to get in again? Uh, that's definitely gonna stop the demon from breaking through. He's definitely gonna stop because the door is in the way. There's no way he's gonna be able to get through this. Okay. She believed him. I would not. I just really love him. I just want him to be okay. <laughs> I understand that, but right now we need to worry about you too. Okay, try to get some sleep, all right? We'll talk in the morning. Okay, good night. I would not feel comfortable staying there. Putting his mask on. That is not good. That is not good at all. Oh god, I'm terrified. Oh, don't look at me. Oh, don't look. Oh, oh.
All right, I felt like I was gonna get scared. I kind of knew, I don't wanna finish this video anymore, but we have to figure out what's gonna happen to Candace and Tommy. Oh, no, 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 I hear him. Oh, he's creepy. Oh. Oh, he's pissed. Oh, no. I'm so scared, I can't even talk. Come on, do you hear that? Yeah, yeah, let's go. I would hope that Parker and Chester would definitely hear that. Oh no, she needs to whack him in the head. Dude, go! Go! I am! I thought they were right next door to her. Oh, the hell is that thing? oh hell no. Is this your shirt? Yeah, she literally got taken now by Tommy. This is why she should have been with you guys. Like, I don't understand. I just don't, I get, just don't it. get it. Dude, did that guy take her? Dude, I do not want to be here anymore. We got to go now. Dude, we, we got to find her. I, we don't, we got to worry about ourselves. Thank you. You have to worry about yourself. Like, you can't help anybody else. If that thing comes back, like, you have nothing else. Like, you're done. You saw that thing take her. We need to find her, bro. Let's go. We got to call someone. Dude, he's gone. Bro, we need to call someone. Why don't you go home and then call someone? I don't understand. I hope they don't stay there and call someone. Uh, we drove home and contacted Candace's sister on Facebook. Smart, you went home. We told her Tommy took his mom and we couldn't find them. She told us that Candace told her Tommy died a year ago. Now that is nuts. That is scary. Wait, hold on. Is my brain working right now? I think we finally figured out what happened. So I think the reason why Candace was acting crazy is because maybe that actually wasn't even Candace. She was possessed. Like she was a demon too. All right, guys, with that being said, I am terrified. I hope you guys are terrified as well. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and please don't forget to like and comment if you really did enjoy it. If you guys want to see any more of these Life of Luxury videos, definitely let me know. And until next time, guys, bye. Ooh.